What's going on everybody? This is Cutta at Castle Road Studios. And now I want to show you how I mix the kick and 808 together on this Ski Mask record by Cage. Uh, just going over some basic things I did just for some surgical EQing and how I side chain the 808 to the kick. So now let's just find the part of the song. Let's just say the hook. Got the bag, got the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Popping tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. All right, so basically what I did with the kick, got rid of all the free, you know, all the frequencies I know I'm not going to be using, I know I'm not going to need. I didn't do it too hard because there is some mid-range saturation tones I want to make sure it comes out. Uh, rolled some low end off here to about 31 hertz. Just some very slight uh, EQ in here, just to kind of clean, just to kind of clean the kick up a little bit. Virtual channel uh, console here, you know, just ran it through there. Then I added some light compression here. Uh, did some more surgical EQ in here, about you know 1.5. And then this is why this is what I think brought the kick out a lot. I added some warm tape uh, saturation to the kick. So I'm gonna mute the 808 and let's take a listen to it. So this is with the saturation on. Let's turn it off. It gets a lot quieter. It's a lot, of it's a lot fluffier. Turn it back on. Brought the kick out a whole lot. Just giving it that punch, just giving it that body. So after that, I added the R bass. And I just kind of shifted the frequency down to about 68 hertz, right where, right where you can feel the kick right in your chest. Brought the intensity down just a little bit. Uh, added some more saturation just to kind of drive it a little bit. <clears throat> so that's your kick. That's pretty much what I did with the kick. Then uh, with the 808, kind of the same process, some surgical. EQ and not a whole lot there. Just took, just taking out some of the frequencies I don't want. Again, same here. Just kind of driving it with the virtual channel here. Some more saturation on the 808. Added some more low end frequency just to kind of boost it. I drove it all the way back to about 34. And I used the uh, Fab Filter Pro multi band compressor. So you're probably looking at this this dip here and you're like, wow, that's drastic. Well. We did it that way because we wanted the the, the way the 808 sounds, it's a long ringing 808. So we wanted it to kind of dip for a certain amount of time and add rhythm to the 808 when it comes back in after, after the side chain. So this is what it sounds like without the side chain. So it's a good rumble with all the uh, processing I've already did on it. Now when I add the side chain, you'll hear the 808 dip out and come back in on time so it gives it a more ry rhythmic feel to the uh, 808. And we can solo that out. Bypassed. Side chain. So again, the reason why I did the side chain so harsh is because I was trying to create a feeling with that 808 in reference to the kick. And I think that kind of made, that gives the whole record its own unique vibe. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to check out our YouTube page, subscribe to Castle Road Studios, check out all the tutorials we'll have up there. And hopefully you can use some of our techniques that we show you into your workflow. Man.